Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls, guys. Now, in this episode, like I said, we're going to be moving into the painted world of Area Myths. There are actually two pyromancy spells that we need to pick up. And that's about all we're gonna do there. I'm not gonna go ahead and kill Priscilla. Because I don't need her soul. I never kill Priscilla. Because, I don't know. I have no problem with her. Anyways, we need to get through these painting guardians. She's not easy because I have no poise. And these guys can hit pretty hard. Not always, but... You know, they can catch you off guard. And... Well, that was a trade. I have plenty of SS flasks. So that's not a problem. Only thing is that they are a lot faster than I am. I thought I could have gotten the other one with that. Oh shit, watch out. I am liking this R2 attack. I know I said that it was crap, but you know what? I am beginning to like it. Now I do know that it is actually possible to run straight to the painting. But, you know, taking out these guys is no big deal. It gets you some souls. Alright. You two are dead. Should I go get Tarkus's gear? I might as well. It's not gonna hurt anyone. This thing is way too heavy, so... No way you're gonna fast roll with this thing on, even if you have Havel's Ring. Alright, painting painted world. Here we are. So the first thing we need to do, I'm actually gonna use a Twin Humanity. Just to save time. Cause there is an NPC summon that we need to get. What's his name? I always forget, King Jeremiah. And he's right in the area where one of the pyromancers is at. So we're gonna do this. Alright, let's move on. Oh. Well see, this is one thing that's really good about these very large weapons. Sometimes, even if you miss an enemy, uh, you can still stun them, because they have this AoE. And with these guys, they have no poise at all, so you have a chance of stunning them, which is quite useful. Although it only comes, on, comes in handy in a few occasions, but you know. Now I do want to test out something. Apparently... If you kill these guys with fire, they're not gonna... They won't leave the toxin. And yeah, it works. So this is really good. I hope I just have enough uh, pyromancies to take out all of them. Okay, that's a soul. I wonder if it works with my fire axe too. You know what? No, actually, you know what? That weapon is way too weak for this stage. Oh shit, I said I was gonna... Oh yeah, I said I was gonna buy some green titan from the blacksmith, but then I fell off. I remember now. I was being an idiot. Oh well, we'll get to him in time. These guys can drop humanity, so it's worth checking them out. But it looks like I wasn't lucky this time. And... Bam. Love that running attack. As I said, this thing pretty much has the moveset of... The Meat Cleaver from Demon's Souls. Except for the R2 attacks. Let's see if we can... No. Are you serious? That's gonna miss. Oh shit. Heal up. Oh, and I fell off. 
Actually, you know what? What is he over here? I don't even know. That's what I was trying to do. I don't think I've ever fallen down here. Well, at least not in a long time. Because I don't know where, where the hell I am. Which is never a good thing. These rats seem to be happy just ignoring me. You know, I'm not complaining. Yeah, you do have to be careful with this smash attack because it can miss. But there's a ladder over here. And we can jump over here. Oh, first we have to break the barrels. I really don't want to die. Mainly because I, then I'd have to waste another humanity. Oh, it's a gold coin. Then I'd have to waste another humanity. And I need to uh, keep my humanities in check. Because I'm going to need a bunch to get all the spells from... Quelak's sister. Although you can always farm uh, down in in the new content the Depth of the Abyss. Chasm of the Abyss. Getting the places mixed up. Always good. Is this guy still coming? Yeah. Just don't want him to come up, be come up behind me and cause me any Oh fuck. Oh well, I'm not in a bad place right now. Except that... Okay, come on. Good. I'm gonna ignore the rest of them for now. Because my first priority is to get that shortcut unlocked. And once I can get back to the bonfire, we shouldn't have any more trouble. This area really isn't that difficult. It can get confusing and let me tell you from a, from the cleric's guide, farming for those souvenirs of reprisal is a pain in the fucking ass. <coughs> that was probably one of the most annoying things to do in this game. Because the drop rate is pretty low. And there is no like convenient bonfire that you can start your farming run from. So you cannot even imagine how many times I've done this run. God damn it. No poise. Hate having no poise. I really should be more careful. But you know what? Let's see if we can get something here Let's see if we can get these things no are you serious god this weapon must be like super heavy whatever gonna have to deal with no poise these guys are strong too which is surprising whatever one asked us I'll deal with that This is where I have to be careful, because these guys are like insanely strong for some reason. That running attack can literally one-shot you. Okay, we're gonna get this. Free aiming also works with this weapon. Alright, what did you drop? Yeah, broken straight sword. Anyways, if we come down here, our friend should be arriving soon. There he is. This is King Jeremiah. Uh, he's not that strong. He's a pyromancer just like us. 
that's the Chaos Fire Rift spell I think he's using. Be careful because that's Firestorm. That's gonna deal a lot of damage. And he is resistant to all types of magic, even Pyromancy. But he's pretty weak to physical attacks. And he does drop a lot of souls. So it's <coughs> it's worth killing him. And we also get the Notched Whip, which is a shit weapon. Anyways, what we're actually here for is right behind this thing. This is the Pyromancy Acid Surge. I'm gonna just quickly run back to the bonfire and show this thing off. Or you know what? No. I'm gonna actually go down to the... I guess these are the sewers and get the second spell that's over here. Which is a bit more difficult to get because this place is extremely maze-like. And these guys are insanely strong. Huh. Well, I guess I learned my lesson. Don't fuck with these skeletons. Well, since I'm back at the bonfire, I might as well show off. <coughs> ah, this fucking cough. <coughs> might as well show off Acid Surge. Pyromancy 4 into the Great Swamp. Emit acid which corrodes weapon and armor. Not all pyromancy originates in the Great Swamp. One hears rumors of unknown pyromancers inhabiting various lands, and this spell is the work of such uh, one such outlander. Now, the thing is, this spell is more interesting from a lore perspective than like an actual gameplay perspective. This is what it looks like. Kind of cool looking. But the idea is is that it's supposed to reduce the durability of the pl of another player's weapon, like in PvP. But the thing is, it doesn't work very well. Uh, that's what I want. It doesn't work very well. I think the durability it takes down is like a set number. So yeah, it doesn't actually work like that. It doesn't work at all against any enemies in the game. And yeah, it's very rarely used in PvP. Do I have to be careful here because I'd prefer not to lose 60,000 souls. The thing is, the only reason I could think of using Acid Surge is for crowd control. Because there are a lot of players who don't know what that spell is. Because it's not used very often and they might get scared of it for a bit. But then again, for crowd control, like keeping your enemy away, you're better off using Toxic Mist. Okay, one down. Just gotta... find the right way. This is not it. What the fuck? These guys can like take me out in four shots hate them god I really didn't think that this armor is this weak or maybe my vitality is kind of low Kay, I'm gonna give this shit one more try let's see if I have a yeah I do you know what just gonna get this on don't care if I don't fast roll it doesn't really matter in this place. Iron Flesh might actually help me here, but I doubt it. So yeah, anyways, that's Acid Surge. Like I said, you're better off using Toxic Mist or Poison Mist, because those things actually do something. I guess extremely rarely, if you have a player who's using Crystal Weapons, but then again, no one's using crystal weapons. But if they are, I guess I kind of could see how this spell helps, would help. So this is why I hate this place, because it's it has like these really long corridors, which allows these guys to just wreck your ass. This is where my body should be. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Get out. Shit. I'm dead again. Cannot fucking believe it. You know what? Trying out Iron Flesh. I never had this much trouble down here. And my fucking ring broke. Oh well. Well at least... I get to keep my... Souls. Which means I can level up. Definitely get a bit more... Vitality. Okay, this is gonna help. And let's get rid of Power Within for now. Really, Power Within you only need for bosses. God, this is annoying. Anyways. Let's try this one more time. Come on, you bastard. Oh, it's still dealing a ton of damage. Iron Flesh, what the fuck? You're supposed to help me out here, man. Anyways, have I even sh Yeah, I've shown this thing off. The effect is cool. I'll give him that. Of course, you cannot roll. However, like, these forward jumping, jumping things still work. And the club's jumping attack still works. It's kind of convenient. No escape for you. Are you fucking kidding me? What does it take? Like five shots? Five hits from these guys? To get me? Something like that. This is the annex key. Actually not gonna need it for this playthrough. I think I'm going the right way. Yes, I am. This is what we need. And right here, there is this guy who isn't actually hostile and he's non respawnable, but he can still toxic you. And he drops the fire surge pyromancy. Okay, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here using a homeward bone because I'm not about to deal with these guys again. They gave me enough trouble already. Okay. Let's platoon Fire Surge. Now this one, I feel like it's a bit more useful than Fire Whip. It's kind of similar, but it continuously shoots out this flame. It's kind of like a flamethrower. The uses drain very fast. But it's good to, if you're doing PvP and you have your enemies like in a tight corner, like tight corridor, you can just shoot this thing out and it will eventually break their poise. And if the guy has no, I mean, it will eventually break their shield, their guard. And if the guy has no poise, it will continuously hit him. Okay, however, now I do need to pay the dragon a visit. I really hope that I would be out of this place in one video. But it looks like that's not gonna happen. Dying in the down there was super annoying. Well, I guess we found the weakness of this armor. It's physical defense. At least at this stage in the game. Uh, I do plan on switching to something else. I'm not sure what yet. Something that still has that ragged look. I was thinking about uh, Quelana stuff. Or the... I think that's called the Goldham Black Set. That looks kind of cool. I didn't want to deal with this dragon yet. So... You know what? We can kill him. Unless he's gonna kill us. Now we need to get out.
Oh shit. Achoo. What the hell? Oh, I'm dead. Well, that was a, certainly an interesting death. But you know what? I'm not going to have time to try this again. I'm going to end the episode here. I know that was an uh, anticlimactic ending. But I will kill this dragon next time. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.